Welcome back to Houston Life. Now to a local spotlight. Carl Crawford was a Major League Baseball player, then founded a popular Houston record label. He is credited with discovering some of the music industry's biggest stars. And guess what? He's joining us now with more on what's next for his record label. Carl, welcome to Houston Life. It's great to meet you. Nice to meet you guys as well. Okay, let's talk about your first life before you moved into music. So MLB, uh, you know, you played for several different teams. Your, your debut at MLB was 2002, right? right. With Tampa Bay? Am yes. I right? Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm going from memory here. I mean, when you were doing, because that was living your dream. You went to Davis High School, what mm -hmm. was formerly known as Davis High School here. Right. Um, I, I would guess as a young boy, your dream was to be an, a, a professional athlete. There were several sports that you played, right? Yes, I just wanted to make it in something, you know, <clears throat> I'm from Fifth Ward, the north side of Houston, Texas, played football, basketball, and baseball, and I just hoped that I, you know, made it in one, and baseball seemed to be the best one for me, and, um, you know, I just, I went with it. That's really, really yeah. cool. And even while you were playing baseball, though, uh, your time in Tampa and you play, played for the Red Sox, the Dodgers, of course, uh, in Los Angeles, you transitioned from sports to music. Right. And this is not typical. We understand that while you were still playing, you had this idea right. that you wanted to transition, but yeah. that didn't happen <laughs> for a few years. Yeah, you know, um, being from Houston, I was always around the music scene, so it always I was always excited about it, grew up around it. And, uh, and I knew somebody that was in the business that can help me, uh, you know, move fast into it when I retired. So uh, for some reason, athletes like to be entertainers and entertainers like to be athletes. We all want to try to see if we can do it. So it became a challenge for me to want to see if I can uh, be successful in the music business. And it's so, you know, there's so much talent now. And when you think about when you started um, 1501 Certified Entertainment, mm -hmm. The social media aspect or the avenues where people can really showcase their talent right. didn't exist like it does today. Yeah, so you're right. able to see so many more people. Yes, yeah, uh, I wasn't a person that was on social media, but I had to learn about it. Um, things like Trilla, uh, you know, IG, and um, you know, now TikTok has yeah. uh, become huge uh, tools for us to use in the music business. And in the music business, uh, speaking of TikTok, you have described TikTok as a huge opportunity, a right. business tool, and you're doing something really cool where you will actually meet with a handful of TikTokers right. and help them develop essentially a marketing strategy, is that right? right? Yeah, we uh, call them influencers, you know what I'm saying? Because they have so many followers. We have these things at, our, uh, at my place where we have uh, gatherings of a whole bunch of TikTok people where they make videos and they learn how to do market their stuff and just uh, come up with strategies on how they want to put certain type of content out there. So. Um, yeah, it's been fun. It, it, it's a lot of young kids doing it and they dancing a lot. It's a lot of energy and uh, I just, you know, it's something new and fun for me to do. It's really cool. Yeah. And to just discover and see the talent that's in our own backyard. I mean, there's right. so much talent here in Houston. It is. They all come out. Once we put a post out, oh, we want all the TikTokers, all the cream of the crop influencers. They all come and then you get to see them. And it's like you just get to choose from whatever. If you see talent there, you can either, you know, decide to deal with it or not. It seems with the rise of social media, too, the level of talent that's out there, mm -hmm. because we don't need a recording studio, yeah, anyone with a cell phone yeah, or so, a computer. Yeah, everything's can... so self-service now. You can just do things from your phone, you know, record. You can record yourself now, make videotapes. You can really just do everything, you know, uh, pretty much from your phone. But, um, you know, they, they creative. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Do you think that means the bar is higher because the pool of talent has grown? Yeah, you definitely have to like be more creative. You know, you have to have that if factor. You have to kind of really know what you're doing because uh, there's so much competition out there now with the TikTokers. Everybody can be seen. Your special talent can be seen. And all it takes is for one person to like it, make a video, and you know. And bam. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I mean, yeah. it's just out there. You just need yeah. that one opportunity. You have a great event coming up on December 17th, and this right. is where you're asking kind of that younger talent to come in right. and uh, and mingle, basically, to, to find some, some yeah, good. Pretty much uh, we having like a, a Christmas giveaway where you can come donate toys and stuff like that, but uh, also you can come network with other TikTokers with numbers, make videos, learn marketing strategies, and just uh, become aware of who's all the big time influencers around Houston. Okay, there's the info on your screen right there, Saturday, December 17th, yep. 1427 Mansfield, yep. and this is happening from 3 to 6 p.m., so mark your calendars. It sounds like a great resource. Yeah, man, y'all come dance, shake those TikTok, TikTok hips, <laughs> and, uh, you know, have a good time. There's a lot of dancing going on. You I see, bet. You know.
Got to learn some new right moves. There. You can show y'all a quick little move. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, thank you so much. It is great to meet you. Glad to have you here in studio. All right. Thank and for more information about the Influencer Tour, we've shared that link on the scene on section of our website. Again, that's HoustonLife.tv.